Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to do a polymer knot. You can use this for any type of fishing and is really easy to learn and extremely strong. This will handle anything from a bluegill up to a huge catfish or whatever you're going for. So let's get started and I'll show you the supplies needed. Like my last rig video, we're just going to pick whatever is easy to find. You can choose whichever line you like, whether it be mono, braid, fluorocarbon. Anything you like to use can be used. And I just picked the uh, kale hooks again, just because they show up on camera really nice. The uh, brownish color, easy to see. Again, you can choose whichever you want to go fishing with. The only thing that's different about this knot, I find it a little bit easier to just leave the line on the spool. Uh, especially with mono. Mono has a tendency to curl up a little bit, so it's a little easier to work with. Step one, of course you can see the eye of the hook. We're going to feed our line up through the eye. That pull probably about six inches above, seven. And all we're going to do is take that line and bring it back down through the eye. We're basically creating a giant loop. And keep in mind, as you pull down, that loop's going to become smaller. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't I just push a loop up through? Well, you don't want this to kink. If it kinks, it's going to create a weak spot, and that's where your fish is going to break you off at. So doing it this way... It's going to work best. So now that you have your loop, just kind of pinch around the eye right there just so your line can't move. And we're going to grab the loop region. We're basically just going to tie an overhand loop. Really simple. So I usually go under and through and grab it with my fingers and all that was was an overhand loop. Now grab the tag end, you just don't want it to uh, go through and mess up your overhand loop. Right now you can see as you come through you just have a single loop. All you're going to do is just pull this very slowly and this is going to tease down the overhand loop and we're just going to push our hook through the loop region we created. I like to turn the hook over for this one. It's just a little bit easier. We're just going to start teasing everything down. I grab both the tag end and the main line when I'm doing so. Before we get too close to the hook, I'm going to wet it down real quick. You have to wet this down because, especially with mono, if you just cinch it, it's going to create a weak spot as well. So let's do that now. Okay, there we go. Also, it's going to provide lubrication just to make it easier. Okay, we continue to pull this down. Again, you want to watch right where the weld is in the hook. If we can see that right there, we want to actually pull that front loop back so it doesn't crease down into that. Before we really tighten down, I'm going to pull this tag and that's going to decrease the size of that loop right there. You want the loop to be behind the overhand loop. That way it will create a really nice looking knot. So right now we're pretty good there. I am going to double check there. We don't have it anywhere near that weld. Go ahead and cinch it down. Just pull tight, and then the last step, take the tag end, and go ahead and just pull on that, 
that'll pull the remaining loop down against that overhand loop. If you have a knot puller at this point, it's probably a good idea. Since I'm using a fairly large hook, it's not so hard to grab it. And just pull, make sure you pull it down nice and tight. After that, carefully, carefully cut the tag right here. I always leave just a little bit of room in case, even though you pull it down really tight, just in case there's a little bit more give there, that way it doesn't come undone. And you can finish it up by tying an overhand loop or, you know, whatever type of loop you want. Tie directly to a swivel, however you choose to do so. So that's going to be the polymer knot. Fairly straightforward and easy to tie. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and I'll be having plenty more. Thanks for watching.